Why is a black-eyed pea engaging in diplomacy? Beats me, but it's true, E. Yep, it's the collaboration no one asked for. Will I Am is teaming up with the U.S. State Department to put on a concert in Beijing. The rapper recently met with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to announce the event, which will promote a program that encourages American students to study in China. Says the show's organizer, quote, he's one of America's most creative artists. When we're thinking of who could be a lead artist, his name popped up very quickly. Well, that's because you're stupid and vacuous. Anyhow, let's discuss this in the lightning uh, round. Lightning round. Jesse, isn't this an act of war against China? What have they done to us? <laughs> I think it says more about uh, the student. Like, if your motivation to study abroad is based on the Black Eyed Peas touring <laughs> schedule, then you're not going to represent our country. <laughs> yeah. But I do hope, if anything, that this program like lasts for years and years, and like that's how it's based on. The students will always just follow their tour, you know. And so it's like, oh, you're studying abroad. Where are you going to be studying? It's like I will be studying at the Norfolk uh, County Fair from <laughs> April to. <laughs> <laughs> I will be studying at the Sea Caucus, New Jersey Elks Lodge in <laughs> 2022. <laughs> that's where the Black Eyed Peas will be playing. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got it in the middle of it. Yeah. I got it, Tucker. Uh, you were saying in the green room that Obama should be impeached for this. Is this a real impo a real possibility? I, I, the list of reasons we should impeach Obama is so long I can't even keep up with it. Yeah, of course this is a reason it should be impeached. Why don't we have a program encouraging American college students to, to study in China? We're, I don't know. We're just sending people well, out. Isn't it inevitable anyway that all smart people <laughs> in America to move there ultimately? Why are we hastening this? That is a good point, Long-term my depressing trend. It really is. And Remy, paying for it. Yes. Remy, uh, how does a crappy concert make an American kid want to go to China. I don't get it. I don't, I, I don't get it either. And I, I, maybe I'm just not that cool or hip, but oh, I wasn't sure who Will I Am was when I first read this. Mm. And uh, I'm not sure it's actually going to draw anybody out there. I think it's going to confuse the Chinese because it, it's, his name's William, and they put the period in there, and the, and the poor Chinese people over there are going to be like going, what? Exactly. Will? Now they're going to think that's how we pronounce our names. I know. This it's, is an affront to Williams the world over. Exactly, Billiam. Thank Bill I am. Uh, yeah, Bill I am. Bill, you are not. <laughs> yes, sure. Bill, but let's let's like let's shift the uh, the emphasis off Will I am and to the more of course the more the real one only talented Black Eyed Pea Taboo. He's got to be in the dumps because they're you know all the all the uh, focus uh, is on Will I am and not Taboo, who like I said before. Well, just to he's always been lot in the face. Yes, he so has. So this is just making the figurative now with his literal because the head is just sloped. It's almost equia, equine. Really? Taboo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's sort of a horseman. All right. Well, on that note, I guess we'll move on. On Sunday. He's calling the guy a horse face. Oh, you get rich. Just, yes. just, all you got to do is just superimpose Troy Palomalo on a Clydesdale. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> all right. That well, is him. That's let's move right. on, shall we, people? Come on. Go ahead. Follow me. All right. <laughs> New Ginrich offered a new argument for why he should be the Republican nominee for president because he's got six times as many Twitter followers as the other candidates combined, over 1.3 million. But a former Ginrich staff member tells Gawker.com, the Newt hired a firm to boost his numbers of followers by creating fake Twicker, Twicker <laughs> Twitter <laughs> accounts. What's wrong with me? Tucker, are, I was going to say your name. Are fake online followers any worse than real? No, of course not. In fact, in some sense, they're more real because you actually earned them. You paid ah. for them. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? This whole, by, by the way, this has got to be the saddest little <laughs> argument ever to break out in the history of American politics. I have more Twitter followers than you. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's poignant. I'm not going to criticize Newt Gingrich. All right. So deep is my pain. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, Remy, another explanation is that uh, two years ago they featured him. Like, you know, in the, I, I, you're on Twitter, right? Yes. That it's, it's a suggested users to follow. They say that's just a bunch of people. Do you buy that? No, it's so sad and pathetic that he would have to you know, pay someone to follow him. And if besides, if we should elect the next president based on the number of Twitter, Twitter followers, well, then shouldn't Lady Gaga be our next president? I mean, is there anyone that has more than 12 million followers? I don't know. And perhaps she bought those, too. Perhaps she bought those. Yeah, with her talent, yes. sir. Jesse, isn't this like uh, <laughs> that great movie starring Patrick Dempsey, Can't Buy Me Love, <laughs> where he gets caught He gets caught for paying the girl to date him? Isn't it like that? It would probably be like that if I'd seen that movie. <laughs> well, I just told you the plot. It's yeah, a yeah, classic. Yeah. So, all right, fair enough. I'm sure it is. Um, <laughs> No, it's just like, even if it was real, like, let's just uh, delve into what his tweets are, because yeah. I've got a couple of them. Here's a few of them. 
Uh, Great Fire Department Pancake Breakfast in Decor, Iowa. Mm. And another one. Stop for lunch at the Pizza Shack in Lamona. <laughs> And then here's another one. Had great brats and sauerkraut at the Mitchell County Fair. And lastly, great lunch at Mabe's Pizza. <laughs> you think that we should take you more seriously because you accurately document your pizza and pancake <laughs> consumption? <laughs> this reads just like the crappiest Weight Watchers journal of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is that was all in one morning, Greg. Yeah, the guy's yeah, got yeah. a problem. No, no, no. You know what? That it, It's an interesting story about what these guys have to eat on the campaign trail because all they do is go to pan pancake breakfasts and sausage fests and stuff like that. Is that, that true? I, of course it is. Oh, remember yeah. Obama? And I'm running for office. Do you remember Obama during during the campaign, he was like, because he was, you know, always pretending to eat it because he, you know, he's like to be fit. And he was always like about to bite into something and then he put it down. I knew what he was up to, Bill. I, I knew it from the start, didn't if I? If only we could impeach someone before they became president. Well, I remember yeah. I brought that up in a meeting. Yeah, yeah. I brought that, brought that up in that impeach. Well attended meeting impeach, that uh, candidate Obama meeting. Yes. It was me, you, and some sock puppets, mm -hmm. but it still was pretty cool. <laughs> um, Bill, I had a question for you. I don't really remember it. But I find it interesting anyway that this practice is kind of pathetic. Yeah, it is. It's very sad. Uh, but I think that this was uh, obvious to anyone who followed Newt. I was an inaugural follower yes. uh, when he first had his account. And anytime someone would retweet him, it was either an herbal Viagra tweet or a Moroccan <laughs> prince who was trying to invest his money. I'm telling you, this is everywhere, though. Uh, if you look at, you know who I'm talking about. I won't say the names, but you'll see. Let's say you, com you see a comedian, you go, the guy's got a half a million or, or, or a politician with uh, whatever. And then you go and you look on it. There's no activity on that web on yeah, that yeah, site. Yeah. There's no activity. Yeah, it's, there's nothing. So it, it's definitely bought. And and you look at the profiles, and a lot of them don't have pictures. I'll tell you something. Ah. I earned my five followers. Yes. Sir. Aside from maybe not Bill Schultz, but he's awesome. Yeah. That that site, my my I can't I can't comp to that. All right, time for another break. Stick around. Check out our podcast. There's a new one every day. To catch them, go to foxnewsradio.com. Click on Red Eye. Tonight we talked about some of the things I don't like about mass.